everyone, and most respected chief guest of the inaugural function of the National Conference on Recent Advancement in Civil, Electrical and Mechanical Engineering, Minister of Technical Education, Engineer Ashish Patel Ji, our guest of honor <coughs> and Honorable Vice Chancellor of Rajasthan Technical University, Professor S.K. Singh Ji, our Dean Faculty of Engineering and Technology, our Dean Academics, Dean Faculty of Yoga, different and very esteemed colleagues from the university and outside the university, dear delegates and my very dear friends. Let me welcome you all again on behalf of University of Lucknow and also on my personal behalf to this, I believe this is probably the maiden attempt of this Faculty of Engineering and Technology to hold such academic conference. I am very happy that in the maiden attempt, such a wonderful response this faculty has achieved. Because primarily, a faculty of engineering and technology is not only meant to impart the knowledge based on the syllabi to the students in the classroom or the lab. And of course, in short placements. There are several other aspects as well. And one of the aspects is to find out what all recent advancements are happening in different disciplines, pull the people who are the cause of all these latest developments and impart to these students framed in the curriculum by means of research and cross-fertilization of ideas for the longevity of the student when they go to the corporate. Because you know, very, very important is not to ensure the placements, I believe, this faculty is doing wonderful placements to its students and I would like to bring to the notice of Honorable Minister and all the uh, delegates who have come from different parts of the country that we do place all our students in one of the finest companies available in respective disciplines and we are one of the top five institutions on those placement parameters also in the state of Uttar Pradesh in a span of five years only. Now, when we talk of moving a leap further, what is extremely important is to move beyond the conventional classroom model to this research-based education. And if you ever try to think of that an average institution ke bache ka package, say for example, 10 lakh rupay hai, or kisi institution mein usi bache ka package 50 lakh rupay hai, or kisi institution mein usi bache ka package 1 crore rupay hai. The same, hai, syllabus is the same, the package is different. Hai. Have you ever thought of? company is the same. Hai. Why is this difference? This difference lies in that if we only impart the knowledge that are there in the books by means of classroom teaching and lab education, it would result into that 10 lakh wala package. But if at all it is research based education, it is research based learning, this will enable the student to subsequently create something of its own. I know a friend of mine was working in GE in Bangalore. Two years back, he shifted to the US. He was an electrical engineer, the, so he motor pe kaam karte the, aur ek, unhone koi motor technology banaya, patent hoi, company ko paise mile, unhone, jab main milne gaya to bolay, main apne kam se kam 20 saal ki tankha company ko de diya. Ab main agar coach bhi naya nahi nikalunga, and company gives me my salary with all the due increments, company is not going to give, incur any additional expenditure, ye sirf ek technology se wo agle 20 saal tak ki meri salary puri nikal rahi hai, lady. So if this is the kind of learning that we are imparting, we essentially are going to place our students to a platform which will enable them to be a star and be available for international market. At this institution, we strongly believe and at the University of Lucknow, we have our H index of uh, Web of Science, our H index is 96 and of Scopus, we have our H index of 106. So this also exemplifies what all is our pursuit and our emphasis on 
research and this is the kind of research based teaching, training and education that we intend to provide to all our students. In pursuit of that, as we have been told, we are the first institution in the entire country and I say this very proudly but to all the humility at my command that we are the first university in the entire country to have implemented National Education Policy 2020. So, we are working on and for engineering education primarily guided by uh, the regulatory body called All India Council for Technical Education, we are attempting to start it from the academic session 23-24 onwards. A lot has been uh, debated upon as to what will be the outcome, but I believe such innovation in academics, clubbed with the kind of research that the, one of the very fine brains of respective disciplines uh, have gathered together here for, will bring in some outcome which will try to answer to all the queries that are coming in the way of implementation of National Education Policy 2022. Another very important aspect that needs to be pondered over is that I believe engineering education has almost become synonymous to computer education which ironically is not good, neither for the disciplines nor for the system. You know this engineering, our honorable chief guest is from the area of civil engineering. Pahle engineering, civil engineering hoti thi. Beto, jo ghar banayega, pool banayega, sarak banayega. So civil engineering used to be synonymous with engineering. Jab pool banana, ghar banana, sarak banana chalne laga to it required machines. So, for mechanical engineering, now you machine ko chalane ke liye, for you needed a system. So, advancements hone lage electrical engineering mein wo sab bhi hai. Baad mein ye sab ka amalgamation hoke output, jaisa honorable minister sahab keh rahe the, implementation or application of AI technology. So, not just AI, but many of of these uh, IT based tools and techniques have started coming in. So, then focus on computer engineering and everyone has computer engineering. Now, mechanical engineering and IT company are going to coding in the coding company. Civil engineering and IT company are going to coding in the coding company. And some NIIT, Aptech, like computer institutes, are going to coding in the IT company. Mein coding kar hai. And you both are working at the same package. So, where lies the difference in action? My nephew, was a student of NSIT in Delhi. Mein hai. So, NSIT was B.Tech kar tha from Mechanical Engineering and since he was offered the uh, IT ki naukri to bhot hi hai, but he said, no, I want to work in the core. I also tried to persuade him, why are you going to do this? You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do it. अगर बाहर 45 डिग्री आज 40 डिग्री बाहर होगा शॉप फ्लोर पे जाओगे 47 48 डिग्री का टेंपरेचर होगा तो फिर वो सारा ग्लैमर खत्म हो जाएगा तो पर आईटी में जाओगे एसी चल रहा होगा मुफत में कॉफी भी देगा मुफत में बड़ी कंपनी में पिज्जा भी देगा शाम को घूमने भी जाओगे बड़े शहर में नौकरी रहेगी बट देन ही पर्सिस्टेड एंड this is possible only because he has he was in a good institution and lot of new technologies that are coming up in the way of the respective disciplines have been taught to them. So, the recent advancements clubbed into the recent education will surely enable the institution to produce meaningful outcome in terms of good human resource that is good for the greater good for the system, society and country. And this is what we are trying to pursue at the University of Lucknow and not just here, after a long gap at uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University, there also we are in the pursuit of revamping the entire technical education syllabi and hopefully within a span of next 15 days, we shall be able to do it in strict accordance with National Education Policy 2020 because this is the way out to ensure the outcome through our students for the system and the country. So I wish this conference a very, very 
uh, grand success and a meaningful outcome. Thank you very much.